Hey, Sket here, and I'm back with more Undertale. Uh, last time we did some things that happened. We, we, we became friends with Undyne, and uh, this time, this is the uh, load game screen now. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Undyne's just sort of on top of a pirate. Uh, Sand is over there on top of my name. Although, apparently, that might not be my name. Hmm. I don't know. Anyways, we're just gonna continue. Alright, it would have been a shame if I had just like reset right then. I was actually scared that I didn't actually know which one was actually selected and I would have accidentally selected uh, the other thing that was the thing. Let's get some items. Hey, yo, give me some crab apples. Let me just fill up my inventory. Except for one space with crab apples, because, you know, we have the, uh, we have the money for it. So let's go on back to Hotland. That's the place that we're going. Tra la la, Timmy Village. The room before the Darkening Lantern Room. Thanks. I mean, I've, I've only been there like a couple dozen times. Uh, but, uh,. Sure, I'll, I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> Come again sometime, tra la la. Cool, thanks. Alright, let's just save again right quick. Did I save? Oh, I've been pressing shift instead of Z and X. Save. Oh, shift and Z, that is a QWERTY keyboard, which I assume most people have, but there are, are other keyboards that aren't actually QWERTY, but that doesn't really matter now. We're gonna meet our fish again! There's me! Yo! Alphys! It's too dark! Hmm? Oh, oh my god! I didn't expect you to throw up so soon! I haven't stoured, I'm barely dressed, it's all messy and... Um... Hiya! I'm Dr. Alphys. I'm as gorgeous the royal scientist. But, uh, I'm not one of the bad guys. Actually, since you stepped out of the ruins, I've, um... been observing your journey through my console. Your fights, your friendships, everything. I was originally going to stop you, but watching someone on the screen really makes you root for them. So, so uh, now I want to help you. Using my knowledge, I can easily guide you through Hotland. I know a way right to Asgore's castle, no problem. Well, actually, um, there's just a tiny issue. A long time ago, I made a robot named Metaton. Originally, I built him to be an entertainment robot. Uh, you know, like a robotic TV star or something. Anyway, recently I decided to make him more useful. You know, just make some small, practical adjustments. Like, uh, anti- anti-human combat features? Of course, when I saw you coming, I immediately decided I have to remove those features. Unfortunately, I may have made a teeny mistake while doing so. And, um, now he's an unstoppable, unstoppable killing machine with a thirst for human blood? <laughs> but, um, hopefully we won't run into him. Hmm. Hmm? Did you hear something? No, I can't hear anything. See, I'm actually deaf. Oh no! Oh yes! Welcome, beauties! To today's quiz show! Oh boy, I can already tell it's going to be a great show. Everyone, give a big hand for our wonderful contestant. 
I only have small hands. Because I'm a little child right there. Never played before, gorgeous? No problem. It's simple. There's only one rule. Answer correctly. Or you die! Nice. Metaton attack. A attacks. That's the words that are on the screen. Those are. Those are the words that are on the screen, and that is proper grammar. There we go. Let's just go ahead and fair. Let's start with an easy one. What's the prize for answering correctly? You see, now Alphys actually gives us the, uh, the answer. Right, sounds like you get it. The quiz show continues. Yeah, she makes, like, the, uh, letters with her hands. Here's your terrific prize! What's the king's full name? Uh, C. Ask Gore Dreamer. Correct! What a terrific answer! The quiz show continues. Spare. Enough about you. Let's talk about me. You haven't been talking about me. What are your- what are robots made out of? Uh, metal and magic. Too easy for you, huh? The quiz show continues. Spare. Here's another easy one for you. Two trains, train A and train B, simultaneously depart from station A and station B. Station A and station B are to ba up up boop boop it's D. Wonderful! I'm astounded, folks! The quiz show continues. Don't count on your victory! How many flies are in this jar? Hey, 54. Correct! You're so lucky today! The quiz show continues. Let's play a memory game! What monster is this? D. Metaton. I'm so flattered you remembered! The quiz show continues. But can you get this one? Would you smooch a ghost? Hmm. I have to go with the. Uh, I don't know. Hmm. So many choices. Alphys, what's the answer? Let's, uh. Let's go for heck yeah. Great answer! I love it! The quiz show continues. Here's a simple one! How many letters are in the name Metaton? C. 40. Of course that was easy for you! The quiz show continues. There. Time to break out the big guns! In the dating simulation video game, Mew Mew Kissy Cutie, what is Mew Mew's favorite food? Oh, oh I know this one! It's the vanilla flavor in the fourth step. Everyone goes to break and see by that food for all of our friends, but it's vanilla flavor and he's the only one who wants it. It's one of my favorite parts of the game because it's actually a very powerful method about friendship and... Alphys, Alphys, Alphys. You aren't helping our contestant, are you? Oh, you should have told me. I'll ask a question. You'll be sure to know the answer to. Who does Dr. Alphys have a crush on? Hmm. Let's go A. See, Alphys, I told you it was obvious. Even the human figured it out. Oh, yes, she crawls her she scrawls her name in the margins of her notes. She names programming variables after her. She even writes stories of them together, sharing a domestic life. Probability of crush? 101%. Margin of error? 1%. Ah, so still 100%. Well, 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 with Dr. Alphys helping you, the show has no dramatic tension. We can't go on like this. But, but, this was just the pilot episode. Next up, more drama, more romance, more bloodshed. Until next time, darlings. Cool. Well, that was certainly something. It was. As opposed to it not being anything, of course. Th that last question, he wasn't supposed to ask that one. Yeah. You sort of just gave it away then. That was your little ruse there, Alphys. But uh, if I hadn't known before, uh, I wouldn't have known. Since I'm pretty sure that's what you said before. There's your bathroom. Wait, wait! Let me give you my phone number. Then, maybe if you need help, I could... Well, where did you get that phone? It's an infant! Doesn't even have texting. Well, wait, wait a second, please. What's that scream? I didn't hear that before. Here, I upgraded it for you. 
You can do texting items, it's got a keychain. I even signed you up for the underground number one social network. Now we're officially friends. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to the bathroom. <laughs> Yellow feet are tapping just behind the door. Alright then. Hmm. Alright then. Let's go ahead and go! Let's go ahead and go! Let's go ahead and go! All oh, this updated status. I just realized I didn't want Thunder to fight the human. Oh. Alpha's updated status. Well, I know she's unbeatable. I'll ask her about it later. For now, I gotta call up the human and guide them. <laughs> Not gonna go up. You can't make me. Oh, Vulcan strolls in. Vulcan. Um, hug. You give Vulcan a hug. It warms your heart. And your whole body. Ouch, your defense dropped. Ah, so... something that I didn't hear. Because I actually see a basket. Vulcan's cheeks glow with a bright heat. You won. Earn zero XP and 40 gold. I don't need any more gold. I got tons of gold. You don't even know how much gold I have. Gonna call them in a minute. Show you our elves. Short be part. I did it. I dodged it. I dodged all the edges. <laughs> Another save point. And we're going up here. I hate using the phone. I don't want to do this. Oh, man. Right. Oh. The cylinder plane gets in the way. Not on purpose or anything. Fuck. <laughs> uh, approach. You get close to cylinder plane. But not too close. And a he he human? Sooner Plank gives you a condescending barrel roll. Hmm. Hmm. Two barrel roll! Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, oh my god, I've had my claw over the last digit for five minutes. Oh my god, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna call! Click. Oh, whoever was calling, hung up before you answered it. Aww. Ring. Uh, th th hi. So, th the blue lasers, uh, I, I mean, Alphys here. Hi. The blue lasers won't hurt you if you don't move. Or orange ones, um, you have to be moving and they, um, they, they will, um, will move through those ones. Uh, but I... Aww. Alpha's updated status. Oh my god, I did it! Claws haven't stood like that since Enzyme called me to ask about the weather. <laughs> wait, there's no weather down here. Why did he call me? <sighs> what? Wait, what? Hmm. Strange. Never actually noticed that before. Uh, about the... There being no weather is her calling her. Yeah, that's that thing. Really clarify. Alpha's updated status. Oh my god, I forgot to tell them where to go! Cute pic of me right now. It's a photo of a garbage can with several pink glittery filters over it. Oh no, Alpha is. I mean, Alpha is here! The, the northern door will stay locked until you solve the puzzles on the right and left. I I think you should go to the, to the right first. I'll just get the hard one over with, or just go back over here. You know that's uh, okay too. Ring, Alphys here. That blue laser seems totally impassable, but as the royal scientist, I have some tricks up my sleeve. I'll hack into the Hotland laser database and take it out. Thanks. We were hanging out when suddenly a bunch of puzzles reactivated out of nowhere. This is a huge problem. It rules. They've got to cancel school over this. Finally, someone turned off that laser. Now that we're free, we can... Well, uh, I guess we'll just keep standing here. 
All right, let's do this. I hate these. I can do it. No, wait, I couldn't. I lied. I'm sorry, I'm a liar. There we go. Now we can do it. Nice. Congratulations. Over there we go. Over here we go. And then over here we go. Yo. The way the work blocked, so I had time to catch minute on show on my phone. Special effects were amazing today. The human looked almost real. Mediton, yeah, he's the most popular star in the underground. This fan club probably has at least two, no, three dozen members. Hmm, Alpha's updated status. Wonder if it would be unfun if I explained the puzzle. Hello? The door leading through the air is closed, so I uh, tried the puzzle, but I kept running out of ammo and it kept restarting. And my two co workers won't help, it's like they don't even want to go to work. Hmm. There we go! I did it! I got it done. Done is what I have. Oh man, I just missed the up. That's not the up! This is the up. No, that's not the up either. All right, this is the up. I got the up. I wonder if that would just open anyways. Hmm. Office updated status. Whatever. I'll just explain it. Uh, I think. Um. Hey, about the puzzles on the left and right. They're a bit difficult to explain, but uh, we already solved them. Awesome. Hmm. Oh, I think this is where we cook with Maritain. <laughs> hey, it's kind of dark in there, isn't it? Don't worry, I'll hack into the light system and brighten it up. Oh no. Oh yes! Welcome, beauties, to the Underground's premiere cooking show. Cooking with Matt Killer Robot. Preheat your ovens because we've got a very special recipe for you today. We're going to be making a cake. My lovely assistant here will be will gather the ingredients. Everyone, give them a big hand. Thanks. We'll need sugar, milk, and eggs. Go for it, sweetheart! I don't want to. Oh. You found the sugar. You found the milk, and then you found the egg, and then you go back to Mattaton and talk. Great job! Just put them in the middle of this counter! Perfect! Great job, beautiful! We've got all the ingredients we need to bake a cake. Milk, sugar, eggs. Oh my! Wait a magnificent moment. How could I forget? We're missing the most important ingredient. A human soul! Hmm. Hello? I'm kind of in- I'm kind of in the middle of something here. Wait a second. Couldn't you make a... Could, couldn't you use a... Um, couldn't you make a substitution in the recipe? A substitution? You mean use a different, non-human ingredient? Why? Uh, what if someone... Vegan? Vegan. Well, that's a brilliant idea, Alphys. Actually, I happen to have an option right here. MTT brand, always convenient human soul flavor substitute. A can of which is just over on that counter. Well, darling, why don't you go get it? Okay, let me go do that and have it not actually uh, ascend into the sky like it did before. That's definitely not what's going to happen. Drat. By the way, our show runs on a strict schedule. If you can't get the can in the next one minute, we'll just have to go back to the original plan. So, better start climbing, beautiful. Well, I guess I better start do that. 
Start to do that. Do that. I'd better do that. Oh no, there's not enough time to climb up. F -f -for fortunately, I might have a plan. When I was upgrading your phone, I added a few features. You see that huge button that says jet jetpack? Watch this. Nice. There. You, you should have just enough fuel to reach the top. Now, get up there! Okay. And I don't think I ever actually noticed before, but he's just like using the ingredients to, uh, like, uh, try and hit us. Like those rags, this is the mm, not eggs, sugar, that is. Uh, and this is flour, that's pretty cool. Oh no, I took damage! No, I wasn't supposed to! I almost got through with- No, I did it again! Oh no, I'm doing it even more! Oh goodness. Oh, that was a lot of damage. Let me take some water, just because I'm really thirsty. Water is good for you. My, my. It seems you bested me. But only because you had the help of the brilliant Dr. Alphys. Oh, I loathe to think of what would have happened to you without her. Well, Toodles. Oh, yes, about the substitution. Haven't you ever seen a cooking show before? I already baked the cake ahead of time, so forget it. Wow, we we did it. We we really did it. Great job out there, team. Well, um anyway, let's keep moving heading forward. Sure, Alphys. But we can go a little further actually. I was gonna end the episode, but uh we can go ahead and do that. Let me read what this says. An ominous structure looms in the distance. You're filled with determination. See that building in the distance? That's the core, the source of all power in the under for the underground. It converts geothermal energy into magical electricity by... Uh, anyway, that's where we're going to go. <laughs> oh, I never noticed that before either. How did you skip over how they make magical electricity? In the core, it's an elevator directly to Hathgore's castle. And from there, you can go home. Cool. Here you are. And uh, let's go to left floor one. Actually, because I think I would like to end the episode now. Because there's not really a point where I can end it after this. So, I'm just going to go ahead and do it now. And we're back here. Seeing such a strange laboratory is boop a bop bop and you're filled with boop a boop I forgot to save. Cool. Alright guys, in the next episode, we're gonna make some more headway towards the, uh, castle, and end a pacifist run. Not in the next episode, I think. I don't think we actually get, like, all the way to Asgore. Like, yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna make some headway. So I'll see you! Weeaboo lizard doctors? Scientists? Not doctors? I don't think, no, it is, she, she is a doctor. It says doctor. Then!